Hey everybody, we've had an exciting couple of days and it's only the first part of the week. Yeah, it's only Tuesday. Sorry, been crazy at work right now. Um, yesterday was the 10th anniversary of Hearthstone and there was a lot of festivities. We saw the Twitch rewards, we saw the World of Warcraft stuff. All of the World of Warcraft um, items that you can get they're amazing. If you play World of Warcraft or not really sure playing World of Warcraft, play World of Warcraft. These are just amazing, um, especially if you're a Hearthstone fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the patch notes that were announced yesterday. We're going to go over a little bit of rewards track information. There is some changes that are happening um, with what you're usually used to in terms of um, a couple of items, achievements, what have you. And then we're going to do the giveaway winner. Um, we're going to pick that winner today right now on the uh, on the video. So to go into the patch notes, I don't want to waste any more time. Um, yesterday was the event. This came out on the 11th. So the music from the Tavern album was released. The World of Warcraft Hearthstone mount and the World of Warcraft events happened. Um, we had Community Day on Twitch. We had the Warcraft Rumble cards in their core. They look amazing. Haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So we had card balance changes. So a lot of, a, a bunch of cards um, got uh, nerfed or reverted to their original form. So Renathal now gives you 40 health. It's not just 35 and 40 cards. It's 40 and 40. Um, lots of cool things happen. So don't forget tomorrow march 13th is the theory crafting stream um so on twitch you can check out all your favorite streamers um, they will be giving away bundles some of them will um, they will be playing with the new cards there's lists all over if you follow on twitter you'll be able to find out all of the information that's happening for that but there's also uh two pack drops so do not forget to grab your whiz bang pack drops by watching some of the theory crafting streams so the 19th the uh, expansion releases the standard rotation happened uh core set rotation list of core changes that's in here I'll put this link in the description in case you didn't see it. And then the 10 year anniversary end game event ends. Um, don't forget there is a card back that you're working on and that in game event, make sure you follow and make sure you get all those done. Cause those will be done. You want to have that, uh, that coin. It's amazing coin. Um, and then the 26th, the in game event, there is a whiz bangs workshop in game event. Um, that's also happening on the 26th. So, we know the details with this. We know the details of Community Day. We know the theory crafting streams. Like I said, if you click on the Twitch channel, you'll be able to find all the, the streamers that are doing it. Talks about this. Here's those new cards. Um, this is the new War, War, Warcraft Rumble cards. Very, very cool. The art looks amazing on these. I'm so excited to be playing these. I just, like I said, I'm busy. Um, card adjustments were there. Like I said, Fell Scale of Ochre, Wild Growth, Miracle Growth. There's so many cards that have been adjusted back to their original reverts um there's a death balloon whomper change so definitely go through all the specifics and read these um just to know what you're getting into um there's also for battlegrounds if you love it or whatnot greta gold gun is returning to the minion pool and news of the newest battlegrounds uh update is coming soon and they'll be talking about duos we don't talk a lot about battlegrounds on the site uh but listen it's it's cool and it's going so also um, March 11th, the arena runs are ending and a new season begins. So start your um, arena run, even if you don't play. Run two games. Don't go all the way through to three losses, obviously. But get yourself right up at the three losses thing right before about to lose. And then close it. And then when you go back on and arena updates, you should be able to get that pack. And you'll get your, um, you'll get your rewards and you'll get another tavern ticket. Okay, so you, we've seen this. I hope we've seen this. Um, the signature cards have a little bit of adjustment now. The gems on the top have changed a little bit. Um, I, I think it's an amazing change. I think these are, me personally, I think these are the best, um, the best signature cards of the all of the sets so far. I love it. Um, ketchup packs are happening. We talked about these and we said, hey, you know, we should hear more about ketchup packs. The amount of cards that you're getting 
are adjusted from what they were the last time. Last time you had five expansions to deal with with ketchup packs. This one you only have three. So there's a link in the description here that throws the disclosure page of what type of the specifics of the um, overall number of cards you're getting and what have you. Um, so definitely read up on that. And then, yeah, 10, 10 year anniversary card back. That should already be there. You have to play 10 games um, to get this card back. And the card back looks gorgeous. Here's the Wizbangs Workshop. It looks like you're going to get a couple of um, packs to open for you playing this event as well as Bobble Mulganis Warlock Hero Skin. If it's the one that I think I've seen, it looks amazing. Um, let's see. Leroy the Legend uh, Legendary Hero Skin. That's coming on the 19th. It looks really cool. Um, it's one that I'm probably going to get day one because it looks amazing. Like I said, there's that World of Warcraft celebration. <laughs> the things that you can get for the World of Warcraft uh, 10th anniversary celebration, I cannot say it enough. Um, it's amazing. I'm a World of Warcraft fan. I've been playing it since beta, and it was really, really cool. So, like I said, the Hearthstone Music of the Tavern is on there. There's the links to all the pages. There's a couple of things I want to go over. Okay, so when you're looking at the bug fixes, uh, rules change. Temporary mana, such as the coiner from Innovate, can now make you go above max mana. It applies to the based max mana of 10 and to any modified max mana, like if you played Wild Heart Guff or Audio Amplifier. Pay attention to that. That might change what you plan on doing if you're playing those types of cards, decks, classes, what have you. Um, also, the other thing, another rules change. You can now have multiple of the same sigil, objective, or aura in play at the same time. Secrets, quests, quest lines, side quests, and battlegrounds effects that use secret zone are still restricted to one instance in play at a time. So in case you're wondering what's going on with that, that's the situation. Uh, Wrath of Air Totem is back, so in case you see that, this is the one I'm excited about. Paladin has expanded its recruiting efforts. Now, whether you summon a Silver Hand recruit, it will be one of seven different art pieces, six new recruits, and the original. I don't think I've seen all six, but the ones that I've seen are really cool. I love the variety now. Not sure which one you're going to get, and it's kind of cool to see this change. I mean, it's been just one one uh silver hand recruit forever so this change is really cool um now you can absolutely another cool thing um you can favorite more than one coin that's going to be helpful with all the coins that you can get from the new expansion and with the one that you're working on the event now um there's a couple of other items here but nothing like absolutely crazy and i don't want to take up a lot of your time so read these notes okay read these notes next up we are gonna go over the rewards track refresh because there's two important things here okay the two important rewards track changes or changes to the new expansion it's not really having to do with the rewards track kind of but sort of um you've got new hero skins which you're going to be able to get after you finish the rewards track they're really cool looking um the tavern pass will be available and it tells you you know all the things that you can get the boosts and what have you but this is the important thing something i don't think anybody was expecting so unlike prior expansions showdown in the badlands achievements will not stop awarding xp with patch 29.0 and will instead be keep granting xp on the next rewards track so xp will always be available with the um with the achievements but um there will be fewer new achievements in Wizbang's workshop but each of those new achievements will each grant more xp than main set achievements have typically given in the past so there is not as many as there usually was um in fact i think there was i could be wrong on this i think there was one per class and then a general one so there's a lot less a significantly less um amount than than normally okay and then here's the other thing it used to be when you collected all the cards you got a diamond card now you're not doing that um, you get these two signatures, Tyrannosaurus and Lab Patron. I don't know if it tells you exactly. Yeah, it doesn't say in here, um, but you're not getting a diamond card for collecting all of the cards in the set. You are going to be getting signature cards, and one is based on how many you get, and the other one is based on the full collection or what have you. 
Um, that's a shock. I was not expecting either one of the achievements conversation in this. Um, good, bad, and different. I'm okay with it. I normally don't finish the achievements anyway. I know there's some that are really probably going to be bummed about that. Um, it doesn't affect me, but I'm apologetic to those it is going to be, um, be upsetting to. Okay. And then, yeah, these are the new coins you'll be able to get. I love the, the golden chocolate one, the whiz bangs, uh, workshop one. There's, there's going to be some cool stuff going on. But that's not what you're here for. Also, really quick, really quick, uh, just go through. I'll go ahead and post the known issues because there's a couple of little tweaks um, that happened that they posted to on Monday. And um, yeah, to see if there's anything that's affecting you. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll go from there. All right. It's time for the giveaway winner. I really appreciate all the support I got, especially this expansion cycle. Um, there was a lot of people that were very attentive to my channel. I really appreciate this. I do this as a side, you know, a side gig, a fun thing that I'm doing like a hobby. I'm not making any money on this channel. I'm not making any money on anything other than, you know, just hanging out. That's all I'm getting. I'm getting the satisfaction of doing these videos, learning how to do these videos. And I'm still learning. Um, and, you know, I really appreciate you all taking the time to come through. These uh, bundles are from my pocket. So everything I give away, I give away directly from my pocket. Um, and I appreciate you guys, every single one of you that come on, leave a comment, like the video or what have you. I really do. Um, I'm going to do more giveaways as we go through um, these next expansions or what have you. Um, and I'm going to keep on doing this because I'm having a heck of a lot of time. Hearthstone is 10 years old and it's just an amazing game. And I couldn't see myself doing this type of work for any, any other game ever. Okay. So now here's the winner. And the winner of the Whizbangs Workshop expansion is... Plasma Fox 2568. Still waiting, waiting, waiting for the Death Knight card reveal. So you know this is authentic. I'm not redoing this or what have you. Plasma Fox, the reveals already came out for Death Knight. They're amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to reach out to you. I want you to go ahead and try to reach out to me. We'll go ahead and we'll have um, that sent over to you really quick. Remember, this is from my pocket. I do not have bundle codes. So it's going to take a few days to get this sent over. There's more things to give away. I'm planning on giving away at least one or two tavern passes. Um, you know, as soon as they're released and I'm able to do so, and there's more giveaways that are going to happen as you're watching this channel. So please like, comment, subscribe, keep on doing what you're doing, and I'll keep on doing what I'm doing. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.